Okay, this is Giant Collation number two. I actually went out to the Mutter Museum in Pennsylvania and saw the skeleton of a giant. It was seven foot six inches. How this museum acquired the skeleton is a mystery. Somehow it was purchased in Kentucky, according to some people. No one knows who it is, where it came from. They know it's a male, and it was examined by a, a PhD who concluded that the person died in their 20s and possibly may have still kept growing. That's all we know. Next to him is a male that's five foot three and a female three foot six inches. So look at the difference. And I was also going out to the Penn Museum uh, n next to the Penn State on this day. I had flown out from Chicago and I was scheduled to meet with a PhD to talk about elongated skulls and do some of my own personal examination. And it was just a, a, a tragedy of, of errors because on that day it was very hot and humid, which was unusual, and the air conditioner had broke in the museum. And I was trying to hang in there, and I went through the whole museum. You can see I, I did get some pictures of figurines with elongated skulls and an Egyptian style with a giant pharaoh. But I became sick, and I wasn't able to deal with the heat and the humidity. It was incredibly humid to stay for my afternoon appointment. And there was really nowhere to go where there was air conditioning to cool off. And I, I had to leave and go back to the airport where there, I knew there was air conditioning. So I didn't get to look at their collection of elongated skulls and talk to the person like I wanted to. I was able to talk to someone at the Mutter Museum about the, the giant skeleton and what I told you is pretty much what I found out. But it's interesting. I had talked about this in a previous video and that's when I had this other PhD anthropologist out of New York come on with an, another troll and just attack me about, uh, you know, my theories and specifically about Lovelock Cave. And I challenged this person to work with me and they, they wouldn't. And the other troll was trying to find out names of the people that I talked to at these museums. And I'm, I wasn't going to give it up because, you know, they were looking to cause some problems. But my studies will continue. Eventually I will get back out to the Penn Museum and some other places down the road once I secure some higher education in anthropology for myself. And I'm going to complete these studies. It may take quite a while, but I will. So here is physical evidence of a 7 foot 6 inch male that possibly was still growing in his 20s. Now we do have several of these people walking around today. Basketball players and wrestlers. So my thought, though, is I think some of these giants from the past were even taller. But here it is, right there, physical evidence. Thank you.